How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and today I'm gonna answer one very common question. Can I let my iPhone battery die? Is it okay if I'm using my iPhone, the battery reaches 0% and it just shuts off, dies, reaches 0% and it just turns off? Is it bad for the battery in any way? Will it damage my iPhone battery if I do that? Well, let's go ahead and answer that. Okay, so first things first, I have to tell you something very important. When I say battery die, I'm talking about this state right here. So the iPhone is off and it won't turn on, but of course, as you press here on your side button, also known as power button, right? It's still alive, as you can see. So there's the battery indication and iPhone is findable if you have that feature turned on. So you can't use the iPhone, you can't boot it, you can't turn it on, but of course, there's still some battery right here. And that's the most important part of this video because leaving your iPhone at this state right here will not damage your battery is not harmful, there is no problem at all, and you shouldn't worry. So then if you're using your iPhone normally and then the battery reaches 1% and then zero and the iPhone shuts off, no problem at all, there will be no harm done to your iPhone, okay? But of course, you don't need to necessarily wait for your iPhone to shut off to go ahead and plug it into the charger. You can plug it in whenever you want, but if it shuts off, no problem at all. But then there's a very important thing. So I'm talking about this state, as I mentioned, when you still have some juice, right? You still have here iPhone findable, and then it still turns on and shows you this screen, so there's still some battery here. But of course, if you leave your iPhone like that for many days, generally after two or three days, then that's the problem, because then your battery will actually fully deplete, it'll fully discharge, and then, that's the problem because lithium ion batteries, they don't like being fully discharged. So then pay attention to that. If your iPhone battery dies, uh, you don't need to necessarily go ahead and run and plug it in as fast as possible. You don't need to worry that much. But of course, it's not good to keep it discharged, to keep it turned off for one, two or three days because then it will fully discharge and then you know that because you press the side button and nothing will show up. So then it's fully discharged and of course that's bad for your battery as I mentioned. And if you leave at that state fully discharged for many months, sometimes your battery will permanently damage and then it just will stop working and you just lose your battery, all right? So very important tip right here, you shouldn't worry about discharging your battery, you shouldn't worry about letting your iPhone battery die but of course you don't need to do that all right and if it happens go ahead and plug it in before it fully discharges oh and as you probably know that's not the only thing lithium-ion batteries don't like for example they don't like extreme temperatures they don't like being charged past 80% and of course many other things I have full videos here on the channel on good practices tips uh, how to charge your iPhone properly and much, much, much more. So if you enjoy these types of contents, I'll leave all those videos down here in the description. Go ahead, have a look. There's a ton of content here on the channel, all right? So that's pretty much it. Pretty important tip right here. Hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next videos, guys. Bye-bye.